Hey guys, I'm Ender from Ender Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Volt White 2 Egglock. In the last episode, we have gotten all the way to Castelia City, and of course, this Poke Checkup. I'll explain about that Charmander later. I kind of got it off screen. I got a bunch of items off screen, so. Um, anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Um. I also got a new headset, which is hopefully gonna make the audio better now. There's still maybe breathing, though. I gotta fix that up. And, um. My PS3 controller on my computer kinda stopped working, so I'm gonna be using my keyboard temporarily. I know it sucks, but. Just gotta live with it. I'll hopefully get that ready soon. Um, so let's check out the items that I got off screen. I got a bunch. Um, of course those are the rare candies. I got a bunch for the rare candies. I'm just gonna ignore that right now. I got I think I got two HP streams off screen on screen too. I got a prism scale. Oh some extra leftovers. Nice. Um also, I'll explain about that Charmander later. Oh yeah, I found a life orb, which is crazy. Cray cray crazy. It's just laying around. Um, I should probably give some more items to my Pokemon. Um, anyways. Enderfave, I really rigorously trained to level 30. Ender got to level 28. And your boy Josh up to level 30. I think we're, um, I'm good enough to take on the gym now. And this Charmander. An NPC gave it to me for winning, for beating him in the battle, so, I'm gonna exchange it for an egg, and what actually I'm planning to do, and Pokemon given by NPCs does not count as an encounter, so, there's actually another patch of grass in Castelia City, so I'm gonna trade in this NPC given egg for a Pokemon, and a Pokemon I caught from the grass in Castelia City, so I'll get two. Um, if you guys have any complaints about that, please tell me in the comments, because of course you guys come first, and yeah, I'm going to do that before the gym, just in case I need some death fodders, I know that sounds really cruel, but I mean, I don't want any of them to die, but if I have to, then I have to. I think got enough uh, super potions and stuff for this, I have a bunch of TMs, don't think I really need them right now. And, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for Poke Checkup. I just wanna check my Pokeballs if I have enough. Oh, where are they? Yeah, I got 17 Pokeballs and one Great Ball. I'm pretty sure that's enough. Anyways, um, this is gonna be a long Poke Checkup. I don't know what I'm doing. So, Ender Fave, uh, really powerful. Of course, Ender Prankster OP. And then your boy Josh, and then this Charmander that I will exchange for Pokemon. Your boy Josh has Scope Lens, Leftovers, and Leftovers. I'm probably going to switch up the items later, because I have a lot of items that I need to give to my Pokemon. So, thank you for joining me in Poke Checkup, and I'll see you in the actual video. Goodbye. Hey guys, I'm Ender from Ender Gaming, and welcome to some more Pokemon Volt White 2. This is episode 6. Now I'm gonna um, search for items to get to my Pokemon. I don't think. A Quick Claw. A Quick Claw. A Quick Hmm. Your boy Josh has Scope Lens. What does that do? I think that makes its accuracy increase if it's slow. It is pretty slow, but Ender has Prankster, so I don't need to get. I don't think any of my Pokemon really need a quick plot at the moment. Oh yeah, also, this happened. Um, uh, your boy Josh tried to evolve off screen. Of course, I didn't let that happen. Also, I saw Watson in Castilia City. I'll do a small showcase battle of that soon. But first, you know what? Let's just get our egg, because got a Charmander. Time to exchange it. So, I'm gonna boot up the PC, let's see what type- Also, I got a randomize- oh my goodness, something just happened. <laughs> I got a randomizer app on my phone. 
Also, thank you all to Gamer321 for sending me a bunch of eggs. I really appreciate it, man. So, got randomizer. Now, how many eggs do I have? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, I actually have seven. I thought I had nine. Whatever. Actually. Oh, no, I have eight. Derp. Okay, so. Let me just. Okay. We're picking up egg number seven, which is Sphinx. I'm guessing it's a Shinx, but. Um. Let's see. Let's just move that. Your, your girl, Josh. Um. I, I don't know who said that, but let's. Let's see the egg. It's time. It's time, guys. Beginning of the episode. Man, the frame skip. It's a Shinx. It has to be a Shinx. It has to be a Shinx. Oh. Oh, this is way better than a Shinx. Sweet. So, Sphinx Zorua. Oh, I wish I had my PS3 controller. Um... We're gonna take on the gym in this episode if I didn't say that already, by the way. So... Oh, wait. What was the Pokemon I traded in? Charmander? Oh, only level 10? You're kidding me. Um... Ooh! Ooh! Nice and Sphinx. Is that Brave? I think it's Brave. Oh, no, wait, no. Oh, uh, no, wait, it's opposite of Brave. I don't know what it's called, but it's opposite of Brave. Timid. 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 So, Sphinx. Um. Charmander. Actually, I forgot to put it in the back, so. Sorry for that. Gust of. Um. What's it called? Yeah. Air, breathing, whatever. So, hopefully I won't be stupid and kill this off like I did of Bruce. That was really, really stupid of me. I will never forgive myself for that. Now, throw candy. One, two, three. You can't see my bottom screen though, so it's kind of... I don't know why I made my layout like this. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's a mixed attacker. I mean, I'm guessing it's a mixed attacker, but... I think Pursuit is kind of better than Scratch, because it does the same damage, but it also gets stabbed. And it prevents targets from switching out. So, I think that it's just better than Scratch. Even though it does provide less type diversity. Oh, I can check its stats here. So, ooh, it's mainly a special attacker, so... Okay, not mixed. Not mixed at all. I don't need fake tears, I'm pretty sure it just lowers defense, and that doesn't matter, because this is not a physical attacker. Um... Wow, Sphinx needs extreme training, I'm gonna do that off-screen. I think Sphinx will be safe in the back of the party. Yeah, just just stay there, Sphinx. Uh, what items can Sphinx use? I'm saying Sphinx a lot this episode. Mm, it's pretty quick because it's timid. Ooh, Life Orb. Uh, but it's really weak at the moment. Actually, how did I think about it? If one of these guys have a Life Orb, they'll wreck. Huh. I think your boy Josh needs scope once at all. Your boy Josh will definitely evolve this episode, which I'm excited about. Oh, sorry for breathing into the mic. I have a problem with that. Um, I have nothing to give it, so might as well just give it a soup bell, cause why not? <laughs> okay, now for the next uh, Pokemon River Party. Um, I don't know what it is, but in here. Oh, whoops. 
I don't have any repels, so... Or do I? Hmm. Oh yeah, like I said, I will showcase the Watson. Oh, stupid Watson battle. After I beat the gym leader of Castilia City. Now, how long has this episode been running? Only six minutes, not that bad. I, I thought I had a repel, there we go. Use. Oh my god, people playing Counter-Strike, um... Oh, what? Water came? What? I don't... I don't remember that, and I think that's the wrong way. There we go. Castilia City, the place where... Nope, I don't want to use one. I mean, I'm looking for a Pokemon. I don't want to go into the dark grass, cause... Did I say yes I want to use one? Come on, really? Uh, oh, there we go. Finally an encounter, and we got... A petalil here, I could easily wreck it, so I don't want to do any damage to it. So it can wreck Sphinx, and I can wreck it, so... I'm gonna stay pretty mutual. Quick ball, quick ball. This is it's an immediate encounter. Quick ball. There we go. I'm pretty sure he caught it. Ew, yeah. What's the skills? Skills, okay. Caught Petalil. Nope, I don't care about Petalil. <laughs> Time to go back into the water riddled sewers. Oh, I hope I don't run into any wild Pokemon. Oh! Jinxed it! Jinxed it! Um, whatever, not a big deal. I can just run away. What a loser, Gardner. Okay, let's... Oh, thank god. Okay, out of that, that stinky place, and... Time for our next egg. Wow. Two in, like, five minutes. Nice. Nice and Sphinx. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that name. Okay, and I'll uh, boot it up the PC. Move. Okay. So we got level 17, Petalil, gonna be exchanged with one of these guys, one of these bad boys. You can't see all of them, because I don't show bottom screen, because I'm stupid like that, but go with the randomizer. Okay, so one egg to seven eggs. Ooh, Whoa, okay, one, two, three, four, Slither. <laughs> Let's see who Slither is. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, your girl, Josh. Kind of a glitchy name there, but it's alright. Okay. Let's see who this is. I'm guessing it's a Scyther, but like, I've been pretty bad at predicting. Oh my god, see? I don't know how to predict. I don't remember who sent this, but I believe it's 3DS Legend on YouTube. Thank you very much. Um. Slither. Slither, the Anorith, level 17, it shall become. Oh, it has an item, nice. Okay, this may take a while. <laughs> Uh, I'm just leveling it up right now. Mudsport? Ew, no. Sorry, I want to learn Mudsport. Mudsport is an extremely pointless move for Pokemon that are ground or rock. Well, not really rock, but still. <laughs> In double battles, it could be helpful, though. Water gun? I don't know why I just said yes. Uh, oh, it's a physical attacker though, why would I? 
Now, I'm not giving a water gun if it's a physical. That's an OP moveset. I like this. And it has a life orb. I think, Slyther, you will become an extremely powerful part of our team. Especially by the next episode where you'll be grinded up and put into a smoothie and drank on a nice day in paradise. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, this is not worth even putting water gun. Nope. Oh, no, I just exited. <laughs> no! Oh, my goodness. Did, did I just do that? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretend I didn't level up Enderfave. I know you couldn't see what I just did, but I accidentally leveled up Enderfave. Just pretend nothing happened. Okay, Slider's now level 17 with an OP attack. That's its main thing going for it. All the stats are decent, but its attack is off the charts. I mean, it's over 9,000, guys. Yeah, Life Orb is definitely going on that boy. Um. Okay, Castilia Gym Leader. First, I want to evolve Ender Fave before the gym, so I will be battling the gym trainers with Ender... Oh, I mean, your boy Josh, not Ender Fave. And then I'll sweep the gym with Ender Fave. So, sounds like a plan... I believe I have enough super potions to take this guy on. I know it's going to be an extremely difficult battle, but I think I got this. Oh, uh, um, I don't remember this. Um, um, yeah, I don't remember this at all. Oh, this is weird. What's this music? It's like... No. I mean, it's nice music, but it's odd. This place is odd. Okay, Combi. Come at me, bruh. Ooh, almost level 31. Nice. Um, I just didn't even notice that, so it's gonna evolve right after it murders this Combi with Dragon Claw. Nice and your boy, Josh. No, I should've said nice and Sphinx. Sphinx is just nice. Okay, your boy, Josh. Oh my god. 76? I didn't even notice. Dig. Diggity dog dig dig. I think his moveset is pretty good at the moment. With the, you know, earthquake and dragon type stab move. Oh, I can take on Pinsir. Buff types ain't a problem at all. Ah, uh, just get this battle over with. Oh, what? Um, I'm kind of scared if it's going to do something really OP. Eh, not that bad at all. Okay, um... Quickly dispose of Spencer here. Yeah, I'm going to switch, because... I mean, I know your boy Josh can take on Burmy, but I really don't want to accidentally die or something before it's big evolution. So, anyways, um... I don't think I got to show Sableye in action. It is powerful. Let me just show you how powerful it really is. I'm gonna go with quick nightshade. Maybe two should take out Burmy. Yep. And because of, um, what's it called? A uh, prankster, it can recover and troll easily, which is what I am planning to do. It's like really just awesome. Um. Shadow Ball would do a Oh, here we go. This episode has been pretty productive, in my opinion. It's just been all about, um, you know, the good stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna... Um, she could speed that up, but yep. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye in the house. Oh my god, I'm so excited to check out its new stats. Your boy Josh looks really mad now. He, oh, you can't see the bottom screen. I wish you guys could. Whoa. That attack is, um, that attack and speed? I don't even... I don't even know what to say. I, oh my god, it's so OP. I'm just gonna cry, slowly. <laughs> So beautiful, your boy Josh. Okay, now I'm gonna switch up Ender with your boy Josh. Wait, actually, I hope I actually um do have enough super potions and stuff. 
I have 12 secret potions. That should be nice. And if I run out, I will legitimately cry. What is this? Oh, what? Um, nice story, bro. Shelmet. Um, now I think about it, that could actually be a problem. Oh, wow. Um, let's just see how easily Underfave can sweep these big types. Oh yeah, it's uh, no EXP because I accidentally used that red candy on it. I apologize for that. So that was so stupid. Oh yeah, it doesn't have special type or uh, special moves anymore. It's just Fire Fang. Fire Fang should easily take it out even when it used Curse. What? Come on, Fave, you can do better than that. Ugh. Come on. Now I realize it. It's almost a, um, a Charizard. Nice. Almost a Charizard in the game. Yeah. Then I'll actually wreck everything. <laughs> However, Charizard is probably one of the worst characters in Smash Bros. So. Why, though? Like, it, I mean, it's supposed to be this really OP, um,. You know, dragon, yet it can barely fly. Three jumps, no elevation at all. Like, what? Sorry, I just mm, was disappointed in what they did with, um. Aw, oh, what? Really? Really, beauty fly? Really, beauty fly? Really? Oh wait, that's a bug type move. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh wait. Yeah, bug types are very effective against ghost types. How could I forget that simple fact? Uh, I think I'm gonna... Really? No, no paralyzed heals? I... Sorry, um, I'm just gonna use a Castelia cone. I have 12, so I mean, like, seriously, mate. Um, oh my God, just let me go in. This is an odd gym. Really? Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. Oh, and then he has to do that. Okay. Harlequins. Uh, oh my god, five Pokemon, are you kidding me? It's gonna be a long battle. I wish I could speed it up, but... Nope. One minute. I'm actually wondering. Checking the moves of it. The ghost. I don't think Nasty Pot will really do anything, because, um... Nightshade only does damage based on... Uh, what's it called? It only does damage based on... Wait, why can't I think straight? It only does damage based on... The level you are. There we go. Sorry, I just forgot that. I wish you guys could see... I just... Oh my god, I can't see my bottom screen. It's a problem with me and my layouts. Yeah, I'm just gonna like sleep with everything. I really don't want to deal with this guy. Okay, so. I can just keep fire thing and hopefully I won't miss. Oh my god, I jinxed that so bad. Okay, if I miss again, then good, good. Bye bye, Beedro. Remember, bye bye, Butterfree. I wouldn't do that if I was Ash. That's 
really stupid in that game. Oh, that was a weird sound. Beyond the spry. It just vibrated through my headphones. Oh. Okay, I'm sweeping Harlequin Gary. How does it feel to be sweeped, Gary? Oh my god. <laughs> That is the main problem with Firefang. Just really, really. I cry every time. I'm just gonna flare blitz it. There. There, I dealt with you, you Mothim. Actually, I forgot Mothim was a Pokemon. I just realized that, like. I never saw it in quite a while. What, um, here's a QOTD. What do you think is the most unpopular Pokemon? You know, the one you always forget about for some reason. <laughs> Mine is probably Luminion or Mothin, because... The Luminion, maybe Luminion, because... Legitimately thought that thing didn't exist for a second there. Oh my god. Yes! Special fire type move, thank you. 70 damage. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dragon Rage is pretty pointless up to this point. Got it? Pointless up to this point. I'm sorry. But, um, I don't want it to have, like, three fire type moves and one grass move. But Fire Fang is terribly unreliable. I think I'm just gonna leave Fire Fang. I mean, it does less damage and um, less accuracy, but it does get burn. So I'm gonna remove Fire Fang for that. I'm gonna kind of. Oh, really? I'm just gonna. I don't want to battle that guy, so. I'm gonna see what happens if I go through there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Try to skip him. Um, this is a nice place. Nice, um, place you got here. Okay, my Pokemon are, like, kind of wrecked right now. So, I'm gonna heal them. Oh, guess what? Getting Skype notifications. I wonder who it could be from. Oh, it's from... It's, it's... It's from somebody. I don't want to interrupt this video at all, so... Nope. Okay. Okay, so basically I went in the gym, just beat all the trainers, and came out. Yeah. That just happened. I really want to train Sphinx and um, Slither, but I know they're going to faint immediately. So, I'm definitely not going to risk that risk the death of two new Pokemon. No siree, I ain't gonna risk that. Also, good news, Endercraft actually is now working, so expect a new episode next week. And I obviously forgot to discuss the schedule for this. I will, this will, is a weekly series now. I will be uploading uh, one week and then Recording the same week and then the next week I upload that and then you know, it'll be a pattern So I'll have a weekly thing for this unless I have spotlights or other things I have to do But this is gonna be my main series. I'm gonna try to finish it as soon as possible. I don't want to sound like I want to Get it over with but Isn't this a shortcut? To the gym? Oh my god, that's a shortcut to the gym Oh Anyways, um, yeah, I don't want, I love the series, I don't want to get it over with, in case that's what some of you are thinking, but I will try to finish this as soon as possible so I can, um, do more things. Um, why is he telling me all his Pokemon? Ooh, okay, I'm actually nervous here. I mean, I know how hard Drayano, 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 Drayano hacks. I want, I want to say Hawks. Oh, only level 25, what? Oh, did I seriously just overtrain? 
Um, I want a Zen Headbutt or Nightshade. I'm gonna try a Nightshade and then I'm gonna go for Zen Headbutt. Compare the damage it does. X Scissor ain't gonna be a problem. Cause, you know, like, no weaknesses in this game. Boy has no weaknesses in this game, so. Okay, let's see how much damage Zen Headbutt does. Okay. Wow! It's gonna be quite a long battle. I actually wanna see if Nasty Plot actually does increase the damage of moves. Oh my god. It's gonna take a really long time. Obviously, I outspeed because Spankster. And X Scissor, not a problem at all. If it does turn out to be a problem, then I can just easily recover. Let's see if Nightshade does more damage with increased special attack. Of course it doesn't. Okay, so, Ender will be switched out as soon as I just do a quick recover. I don't know why I feel like this is going to be a pain. Okay, um... Uh, this is gonna definitely be a pain. I should have switched out into... What's his name before this? Uh, Ender Faith. Shouldn't have kept Ender in. Okay. Ender Faith. Are you kidding me? Should I do Flame Blitz or Flame Burst? Flame Burst, yeah. Okay, finally. Jeez. So, okay, I have a feeling Flame Burst will do um, very little damage after this. So, I'm going to kind of play it safe and go for Dragon Rage. I'm pretty sure that much is 40 HP for Vespa Flame. There we go. I guess, for really dra uh, I guess keeping Dragon Rage was a pretty good thing. And we'll go to level 29. Wait, look at its special attack, and it can't even... It only learns physical moves. Knockoff can be extremely helpful in situations, so... I know, Jade. Okay, got knockoff. Mask Rain. Easily defeat this. Yo, I don't care about any intimidate because I got flame burst right before the gym. Which is actually really good. And that did nothing because I don't know. I don't remember why. Is Mask going a water type? But I'm just gonna go with Dragon Rage, you know, always playing it safe this ender does. Oh my god, really. Uh. Oh my god, really? Oh! Dragon Rage is just not missing, so... It's a good thing, but... Please... Oh, how does that make sense? Whatever, I'm still happy. Um... I can definitely beat Levani with, um... A single Flame Burst shall do. Why it has Shadow Claw, I don't know. And it has a Life Orb, so that did a lot of damage. But I still beat Levani. Wow, this is actually the easiest gym battle. No, no, Charon was the easiest. Roxy was kinda hard. Or was she? Nah, she, oh, I don't remember. I'm probably thinking about my Fire Red Omega Misty battle, because that was hard. Lane Surge is also hard. Oh. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about because the series ain't out yet. Um, okay. That's how to sweep a berg. Wow. Wow. Oh, he has one more Pokemon? No problem. I can sweep it. Oh, this is last Pokemon? Of course. Of course you're in trouble, man. Oh no, really? Focus Ash? Focus Ash. 
X Scissor's not gonna do anything. Andrew Thief is the is the MVP of this match. I'm gonna make MVPs of gym battles now, and Ender Fave is by far the MVP of this match. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh power. Yep. Mm. Nice. Oh, so epic. Oh, X Scissor? I think uh, Aunt Anorith has that, or if it doesn't, then boom, it can have it. This guy really loves painting. Ooh, it doesn't have X Scissor. X Scissor's a must have on uh, Anorith. Rock Slide? Does a lot of damage, but I'm probably gonna, um. Rapid spin. Probably gonna remove rock slide. Knockoff is a uh, good good move, but I have it on Sableye. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually remove a uh, knockoff because I have it on Sableye, so don't really need two knockoffs. Speaking of TMs, I should give one to Sableye. It can't learn anything right now, so. Slide through. Yes, you're gonna learn X Scissor, my friend. By knockoff. Or rapid spin. Knockoff or rapid spin. It's not like they're gonna use rapid spin in the. I mean, it's not like. Well, they might use Stealth Rock in this game. I'm just gonna go safe and remove knockoff. And. Boom! Let's see if um, there's any good special moves that someone can use. Apparently not. Don't have that many special type moves for Sableye. Under the Sableye. Anyways, um, in the next part, I'm probably going to showcase um, Watson Battle, then end off the part. And in the next part, I will train up off-screen um, Sphinx. And slide through because they look extremely powerful. I can't wait to use them in battle. Um. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Uh, I actually battled Watson before. Uh, for grinding because you you know you can battle gym leaders multiple times. I did that for grinding. He's really powerful, so I'm kind of. I hope. Now with my Pokemon up to like really powerful levels, I can take him on, but he is, uh, he's powerful. If I lose a Pokemon to Watson, I will be so, I will just, it will be hilarious, because, like, really, I, I sweeped Berg, and then Watson pones me. Ugh, I would cringe. Is this the one? Uh, I mean, I'm guessing this is where Watson is, but... That's not where Watson is. Watson hangs out with the shady kids, you know? Uh, kind of like... Back here, maybe. Oh, here we go, Shady Alley, right next to the Pokemon Center. What? Oh, where is he? That looks pretty shady to me. What? No. No way. What? I don't understand though. Oh wow, wow, it's right here. I'm sorry for breathing into the mic. I kinda have a problem, but hope you guys don't mind. Let me just fix that. Oh, um, is that better? Yeah, I'm guessing that's better. Okay, um, I don't know why I was pressing WASD like it was, um, Minecraft. Okay, did I heal? I actually doubt I did. Oh, I did actually. Wow. You know sometimes those moments when you forget you actually healed. Okay. Watson, it's time, man. It's time. Oh, this guy is really powerful. I have to admit, I am scared. I had to use up a lot of super potions last time. 
Hopefully your boy Josh in his OP form can sweep right now though. Showcasing this battle, so he's a Voltorb level 23. And then he has a Magneton, which I can also Earthquake. So, level 23, I think uh, most of Pokemon are around the 23 range. Okay. His main neck trick is the real threat here. Because it has Flamethrower. Well, that won't affect me, but, um... It is pretty surprising. Oh, and actually, your boy Josh beat it in one hit. It used to be able to outspeed me, but I think, um... Good Bite has really, really, really great... Um, speed, so... Um, Colossal should not be a problem. You don't want to use a ground-type move on it, because it's floating in the air with an air balloon. Now... Same with his second Pokemon, it's also a, it's a Minun. See, oh yeah, that's powerful speed. Um, so it's a Minun, so it'll have an air balloon too. You don't want to, you don't want to use ground type moves against these guys. Cause these guys, um, they will Volt Switch you repeatedly if you're not a ground type. If you are, then they'll, uh, just, you know, troll you bad. But... Wow, I actually beat him that easily. Didn't think so, but last time I battled him, I got wrecked. Not even funny. So, um, thank you for joining me in Pokemon Volt White 2, Episode 6 of the Egglock. Caught a bunch of, uh, caught two new Pokemon. Sweep Berg. I think our team is coming back together. If only Bruce was here to see this. If Bruce was here, then... Slyther, I mean, or Sphinx, Slyther or Sphinx would probably, um, be in the PC. I keep on thinking you guys can see my bottom screen, right? So I just keep on, um, doing stuff on the bottom screen, but no, you guys can't. And there's Colrus, so I don't exactly want to go that away. However, um, no, what? Actually, I'm gonna keep Ender first. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribe, obviously. I would love that. That would make my day. And you know what? Let's let's say goodbye in front of this this, this bustling path of stuff. <laughs> um. Remember, guys. Stay swagalicious.